ended up splitting the block last summer at a last event and uh, ended up putting this thing in. What's going on guys, it's Art here again from Vibrant Performance and today I'm at Centerline Motorsports with my friend EJ here. EJ is actually one of our sales guys here at Vibrant and uh, this is his Fox Body Mustang. There's a lot going on with this Mustang. There's a Chevrolet engine in it. Yep. Talk to me about kind of why it's here and what happened in the recent past. Well, let's just say the stock 302 took a, took a dump, had a stock 302 in here turbocharged for about quite some time, about four or five years. It did set a record here in Ontario, but there's a lot of controversy about that. The car went 960s at 140 and uh, ended up splitting the block last summer at a last event and uh, ended up putting this thing in. Now it was a record because it was the, it was still a stock block. It was a stock block. It did have bolt-ons, uh, it did have cam, um, heads, intake, but still stock ECU with just a chip tuned by DCT. And it was just your average, uh, average gro grocery getter. You guys might remember the car actually a couple years back. We did feature this car back when it had the Ford engine. Uh, Jay and Aaron from Vibrant actually did a turbo setup on it. Now the car is here at Renee's. It's got a full tubular front end, I see. Yep. And a bigger snail. Yep. So what's going to be kind of surrounded around the setup over here? So we're. Uh, Pretty much using all Vibrant components, starting with our four inch stainless exhaust, our big Vibrant intercooler, HD clamps, some titanium going out the fender. Pretty much keeping it street, monster, trying to hurt some feelings this year. Everyone, if you guys wanna ask any questions, be sure to comment below in the comments and uh, subscribe if you wanna see the series continue. And uh, in the next episode, we're gonna have a little bit of fabrication. We're gonna talk to Renee and see what he's doing. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care guys.